Welcome to the video tour for the Physics 30 Prep web class. This video will show you the most important parts of your online classroom, how to get started, and where to go for help. This web class is stored on a computer at the Virtual School eCampus Alberta, so logging into their system is your first step. Start up whatever your favorite web browser is and take yourself to www.ecampusalberta.ca. On the eCampus page, you're looking for a tab or button that says Student and Faculty Login. And that takes you to the eCampus Alberta login screen. eCampus has two systems for delivering their courses. One is called WebCT and the other is Blackboard. You may have some other NorQuest courses that are running on WebCT, but as of December 2009, Physics 30 Prep is running on Blackboard, so that's the side where you want to be. On that side, you need to fill in your username, which you should have been sent from the college and the password, which when you initially log in will always be change me. And the first time you log in, the system will insist that you select a password of your own to use from then on. The first time you log in, it's change me, all lowercase, no space. Even if you're only registered in one course, Blackboard will take you to a course list now and ask you to select the course you want to visit. You're looking for Physics 30 Prep, Fast Track, Continuous Intake. Click on the title of that course and you'll be taken to the course homepage. And here we are at the course homepage. From here, you can click on various links to get at all the information you're gonna to need to complete your class. If you're a new student, hopefully the course information link catches your eye first. Let's take a look at that. The course information page, for one thing, has a link to this video if you ever wanna take a look at it again. It also has a classic course outline listing what concepts are covered in the course and how you'll be evaluated in it, and some biographical information about your instructor. Once you're working away on the course, you'll spend most of your time in the course content area. This is where you get your notes, watch video lessons, and take your exams. When you go into course content, you'll see a list of units that are available to be worked on, and your page will not look like this at first. The first time you log into the class, you'll only see Unit 1 Kinematics. When you finish the Unit 1 exam, Unit 2 will appear, and so on down the line, until when you finish the exam for Unit 4, the course survey and the final exam will appear and sit there waiting for you to complete them. Now because this is where you'll be spending most of your time, let's take a look in one of these units and see what's inside. As you can see, each unit is broken up into bite-sized pieces which can take anywhere from 10 to 40 minutes to complete. A typical unit is made up of some notes which you can look at on screen or which you can print off, a video lesson which when you click on it will launch your video player, and occasionally an assignment to be done out of the Student Notes and Problems book. There are other lessons that are simply worked examples and that don't have any assignments associated with them. And at the bottom of the list you'll find a self-test, which doesn't count towards your grade. You can write it as many times as you like to check how you're doing. And the unit exam, which you can only write once and counts towards your overall mark. The third link on the home page is the course resources link, and I'm fairly proud of this one. There's all kinds of useful stuff in here. On the course resources page, there is a planning spreadsheet that can build a study schedule for you. There's a very complete formula sheet, which is identical to the one you'll be using on the diploma exam when you take Physics 30, so you might as well get used to using that. The snap map, which is a study guide keyed to the student notes and problems book, which you use in this course. The notes and problems workbook itself, which you can print off if you wish, if you want a second copy or didn't get one from the college. Solutions to all the questions in the Student Notes and Problems book. A glossary where you can look up technical terms used in the course. And a list of external links to useful, informative, or cool stuff that we found elsewhere on the net. Finally, on the home page, there's a link to the online tutor. Information on how to reach them by phone, by email, in a virtual class and a link to the technical support page at Norquest College. If you're having trouble with your computer or any of the software this course uses, you can talk to the experts there and they can help sort that out. A few more controls you should be aware of. Most of the navigation for this course was designed by the college, but there's also some buttons off on the left edge that are part of the Blackboard control system. If you don't know what the symbols mean, you can click the expand button to the right of them and they pop out revealing explanatory notes about their names. If you want to take tests, you can find them under Assessments. 
Each of the units in the course is called a learning module in Blackboard's language. The white and green asterisk indicates that that item has just appeared since you've been in last, so it's something you probably want to check out. And your online report card is constantly being updated on the site. You can check that anytime you like and see how you're doing. Last but not least, at the very top of the Blackboard controls, there is a little house icon. That's your home button. Clicking that from anywhere in the course will take you back up to the home page. One last thing to point out, at the top of every page in this class, you will find the contact information for the instructor. You can email them, you can phone them, you can even walk in and visit if you happen to be in the right town. It's always a pleasure to meet our online students. If you have any questions or concerns about the course, please come and see us and we'll see what we can do for you. That's the end of the video tour. What happens next is up to you. Anytime that you have questions about the course or if there's any way that we can help you out, please contact us. We want you to finish this course and we want you to do great at it. Good luck and have fun.